Hello, we're going to be doing some yoga for about 30 minutes. If you have a yoga block, uh, keep it nearby. This is just going to be a relaxing session, loosening up any tightness in your body and calming the nervous system. So we're going to just start seated in a comfortable position. If this isn't comfortable, maybe propping yourself up on a blanket, sitting up a little higher, or you can sit any way that's comfortable for you. And we're just going to shut down the eyes for a moment and tune into the breath. Maybe letting out a sigh and eventually just closing the lips and breathing in and out through the nose. Just allowing yourself to connect with yourself and your breath and calm the nervous system. So about six slow breath cycles is about one minute. We'll just breathe for about one minute. And one more breath cycle. And we'll start with some neck circles. So just letting your ear drop down to one shoulder, letting the chin drop over to the other shoulder and letting your head fall back. Keep going in that same direction. Making the circles as small or as big as it feels good in your body. And the next time the chin comes down to your chest, we'll inhale and reverse that circle. Inhaling up, then exhaling the chin down, connecting our breath to movement. One more time around. And we'll lift our chin back up to neutral. We'll bring our forearms together in front of our gaze. And when we're doing this, let the back round and let the chin drop. So rounding the spine. And then as we inhale, we'll draw the arms back, lift the chest up, lift the gaze, and then exhale, round and lower. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. And one more time each way. And release the hands down to the knees. And we'll do some Sufi circles. So imagining a straight line coming up through the center line of your body. And you're going to be circling the rib cage around that line. So hands on the knees just circling the ribs forward and back. Feel it loosening up through your low back and through your hips. You can let the chin drop, let the head move, whatever feels good. And as we circle to the back, We'll reverse, inhaling forward the other direction. One more time around. And spiraling back to center. We'll take some twists. So inhale the arms up overhead, bringing the palms together, really reaching the fingertips, taking the spine and extending it. And as we exhale, we'll take a twist, letting the back arm drop back behind you and the front arm to the opposite knee and just hold there for one breath, nice and gentle twist. And 
Inhale, coming back to center, reaching up. Nice long spine. Exhale, other way. Gentle twist, holding here for a breath. One more time, each side. Inhale, arms up, reach. Exhale, twist. This time, maybe applying a little more pressure to that knee and looking back over the shoulder, deepening that twist, breathing here. And last one, inhale, reach. Exhale, twist. Taking a breath, applying a little more pressure, deepening that twist. And releasing back to center. Keeping the legs crossed. If you're here, we're going to just walk the hands forward, lowering down, maybe coming onto the forearms or maybe onto the block. And let the head be heavy. Breathing here, you'll fill up the backside body with a big inhale. And walking the hands back up. And then switch the leg that's crossed in front, just evening out the hips. Lock the hands out. Take a deep breath into the backside body. Feeling those back ribs expand and exhale. And then walking back up. We'll put our hands behind us and take our feet out nice and wide and do some windshield wiper knees so the weight's resting back on your hands and you're just loosening up through the hip sockets and low back at whatever pace feels good maybe looking in the opposite direction and even it out to the other side Coming back to center, align the hands right underneath the shoulders. Bring the feet in slightly and we'll lift the hips, taking a reverse tabletop. Let the head fall back. Just feel that release on the low back and stretch through the shoulders. Take a nice inhale here. And as you exhale, lower back down to the mat. And we'll transition to hands and knees in our tabletop position, keeping that block close by. And we'll take a few cat cows. So hands right underneath the shoulders, knees right underneath the hips. So we're gonna inhale, lifting the tailbone and the crown of the head. Exhale, rounding, tucking the tailbone, dropping the chin. Inhale, lift. Really pressing the hands into the mat. Exhale, round. And one more time with your breath. And coming back to neutral, we'll take nice wide knees, about as wide as the mat, and shift our hips back into child's pose. So hips are over the feet and the hands slide down maybe the chest and forehead drop down to the mat letting your body be nice and heavy if you need to put a block underneath your forehead just bringing the floor up to you to access that maybe at a different level whatever you need taking about three more deep breaths here Grounding into the mat a little more with each exhale. One more. And on your next inhale, coming back up to tabletop, bringing those knees back under. We're going to come down onto the forearms and step our feet back to a forearm plank, or you can drop down to your knees, either one. Gripping the palms into the mat, we're going to pull our chest forward as we lower the belly arriving in sphinx pose and then untuck those toes to the top of the feet are connected to the mat slight back bend here keeping the core engaged breathing here 
And then we'll lower down and we'll do a prone twist. So extending the right arm out, putting a bend into the left leg and lifting that left foot up and letting it fall behind. Holding here for several breaths, feeling a nice stretch through the right shoulder. And let everything be heavy. You don't need to hold tension anywhere. One more breath here. On your exhale, roll back to the belly and we'll take it to the other side. Left arm extends out. Bend the right knee. Let that right foot drop back behind. Again, just letting the body relax and be heavy here on the mat, sinking into this stretch and breathe slowly. One more breath here. Rolling back to the belly. We'll press our way back up to tabletop, taking the knees slightly wider. Left hand comes center, right hand comes to your ear, and we're going to inhale, twisting open, and exhale, lowering down. And we'll do that two more times. Just taking that rotational twist, inhale, open, exhale, twist, lower. And this time when you open, extend the arm up to the sky, looking up at those fingertips, pressing the left hand into the mat. Nice big inhale here. And on your exhale, we'll thread the needle coming all the way down onto that right shoulder, resting the temple on the mat and stretching the back of the right shoulder, opening up space in the shoulder blade, just breathing there. And we'll press our way back up and take it to the other side. So right hand center, left hand to the ear, inhale, twisting open. Exhale, lowering down. Two more like that. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. This time, inhaling open and extending the arm up, looking up, pressing that right hand into the mat. Big inhale. Exhale, thread the needle, coming down onto the left shoulder and temple. Relaxing here, opening up the left shoulder blade. And one more breath here. And we'll press our way back up to tabletop. Bringing the knees back under the hips. We'll extend the right foot back, ball of the foot on the mat. And we're just going to pump forward and back, feeling a nice stretch in the back of the calf, through the toes, through the Achilles, making sure that we're really pressing away with our hands so that we're not dumping into the shoulders. We've got a nice, strong base of support here. And then we'll hold lift that leg straight back behind you with a flex foot an option to take bird dog lifting the opposite arm forward like you're shaking someone's hand feeling that energy coming out from the fingertips all the way out through the heel big inhale and exhale back to the mat and we're going to circle that right knee around so bringing it toward the the right hand, circling it open a few times, just loosening and mobilizing that hip. And on this last one, we'll cross the right foot back on the opposite side so it will land on your left side. And then we'll press the hips out to the right side, lengthening that right side body, making a crescent shape. 
with your body, breathing into the right side and coming back to tabletop. If you need to give your wrists a break, maybe flip the palms, giving them a little stretch. And then we'll do the other side. So left foot extends back and just rocking forward and back. And finally, stilling that, engaging the core and lifting that flex foot behind you. Option to reach the right fingertips forward. Breathing here. And exhale back down to tabletop. Left knee circling toward the hand and open. And one more time, extending that leg and landing it behind you on the right side, pressing the left hip out, maybe the right ear coming down toward the right shoulder. Again, just making that crescent shape throughout your body. <sighs> and coming back to center. We'll tuck the toes, lift the hips, and find downward facing dog. Let the head be nice and heavy here. Resting breath here. And we're going to inhale the left foot up and step it through to a low lunge. So the right knee is resting down on the mat. And maybe you have a block here to come up a little higher in that lunge, really lengthening through the right hip flexor. And we're going to alternate between this lunge position and then sinking the hips back, folding over the front leg into a half split. So inhaling forward, maybe drawing the arms up maybe gazing up at the fingertips, feeling that length through the front side body. Exhale, shifting the hips back. Inhale forward, maybe opening up those elbows, coming back into goddess pose, lifting through the heart, and exhale back to your half split. Inhale forward to your lunge. Circle those arms back, maybe connecting and drawing those knuckles down, opening up through the shoulders, gazing up. These are all optional. You can just stay in your lunge any way you like. And releasing the hips back. And the last time we come forward, we're going to drop the right hand to the mat or on top of a block and inhale the left arm and take it in a circle. So our gaze is following our fingertips all the way around in a big circle, reaching forward, inhaling up, exhale as the arm circles back. And one more time around, with an option to put a bend into your right knee and reach back for the toes, opening up that left shoulder just as an option. Otherwise, keep that circle going. And we'll release coming back to hands and knees and tucking the toes, lifting the hips, coming back to downward facing dog. Again, taking a resting breath here, letting that head be heavy not holding any weight here. Now we'll take it to the other side. So inhaling right foot up and stepping the right foot through to your lunge, left knee onto the mat. I'm just taking a moment here to feel that stretch through the left hip flexor. 
And now we'll exhale and sink back to our half split, folding over that front leg. Shift forward. Inhale, maybe reaching up. Exhale, shifting the hips back. Inhale, reaching forward, taking goddess arms. Exhale, half split back. Inhale forward, circling the arms back. Grasping fingers together, drawing the knuckles down, opening up through the shoulders and the chest, looking up. And exhale, release back. And this last time, hips come forward, left hand on the mat or on the block, and we'll inhale the right arm up, circling it back, watching the hand go around. Connecting the breath, inhale forward, exhale back. Just feel the stretch moving through that left hip flexor. One more time. Option to bend the left knee and reach back for those toes, kicking the toes into the arm, really stretching out that right shoulder or circling around some more. And we'll release, coming back to tabletop. And taking the knees nice and wide, sinking back to child's pose once again, maybe taking a different arm variation. Maybe prayer hands behind the head and feel that release through the shoulders here. And one more breath cycle here. And we'll inhale back up, shifting over onto our seat, <clears throat> taking staff pose, so legs out in front, <clears throat> sitting up nice and tall through the crown. We'll inhale, arms up. Finding that length, and as we exhale, we'll reach up and forward over the legs, maybe grasping toes or pant legs, whatever is in your reach. And we'll take a nice long breath here and release one more time, inhaling up and exhale, release over. Resting breath here. And releasing back to center. One more thing I wanted to do, <clears throat> actually coming back to hands and knees, we'll lift back, tuck the toes to downward facing dog. We'll go take our pigeon poses. So inhale the left leg up, put a bend in the knee and pull that knee forward, landing behind or between the hands and take the top of the right leg and really extend it back. Maybe taking your block and lifting the upper body up nice and tall, finding a length through that right hip flexor, through the abdominals. But eventually we're going to settle down in a low position. Maybe dropping the forehead down onto the block. So you can just release your weight and be supported by the block or by the mat, whatever height feels comfortable in your body. And just letting that left glute release the muscles and the connective tissue as you relax here. And just move with the breath. Releasing a little more on the exhale. One more long breath here. And we'll press our way back up. Tuck the back toe and step the left foot back, arriving again in downward facing dog, taking a resting breath here. And 
and now we'll take the other side inhaling right leg up putting a bend in the knee and pulling it forward landing behind the right wrist top of the left foot connects with the mat and slides back maybe coming up nice and tall here lengthening through the left hip flexor a bit more And then eventually lowering down, letting the body be heavy. And releasing that right glute completely with each exhale. Relaxing a little heavier into the stretch. Two more breath cycles here. Pressing our way back, you can just bring that back foot forward and we'll come back down onto our back. So we'll reach our steeple fingers forward, pull that belly button to spine, dropping the chin, engaging the core and just lowering down nice and slow. If you need to support yourself grasping onto the thighs eventually shoulder blades then back of the head reach the mat and we'll take our arms overhead into our good morning stretch feels so good nice grounding pose here we'll put a bend into the knees crossing right foot over left pressing that knee away and maybe grasping behind the left knee pulling this figure four stretch in towards your chest maybe adding some rocking side to side And we will release left foot back to the mat. Switching sides, left foot over right, press that knee away. Deepening the stretch, pulling the legs in towards you, maybe grasping the palms behind you and rocking side to side. We're going to release and give ourselves a hug, hugging the knees in, lifting the forehead toward the knees. And we're going to find happy baby next. So let the head drop, reach to the outside edge of the feet, pulling the knees back toward the mat. If you need to, you can also grasp behind the knees. Either way, just releasing the low back and hips here. Maybe some slight rocking side to side. Continuing to breathe. When you're ready to release that, We'll extend the legs out and find our final resting pose and take Shavasana. So again, tucking the shoulder blades under, turning the palms up, shutting the eyes down, and just letting yourself be. All you need to do here is breathe and let the earth support you. You can stay here for as long as you like. Have a great day.